for Leos, what do you need to hear? What do you need to know from the universe? It's that one then. It's card number nine. And it says, I do not need to monitor my thoughts. Okay. And so I'm going to read the back to you. So it says, rather than trying to monitor your thoughts, pay attention to how you are feeling. For if you should choose a thought not in harmony with your broader intentions, you will feel the discord. And then you can redirect your thought to something that feels and therefore serves you better. So take those negative thoughts or thoughts you don't really want and turn them into thoughts you do want in order to attract that. You don't need to monitor your thoughts. Just catch the ones that you shouldn't be focusing on. Okay? So the overall energy here, Leo's, is a Queen of Swords, very mature energy. And what she's doing here is seeking truth and clarity, having the sword out. Like, I, she, like you need to speak your truth, you need to speak your clarity, and you need to get the truth and clarity in return. This is air, Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius that might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. So let's find out why. The Queen of Swords here is surrounding your entire reading. I have the Four of Swords up in your highest energy. So you have been spending time alone, um, kind of meditating, praying, or soul searching, trying to let swords of truth and clarity come to you. You've been in a place of healing. These are the two strongest energies in your entire reading. So you're letting these swords of truth and clarity come to you. You're going through this healing process. And um, it just feels like there's more to say. Uh, there's more you need to know. Hmm. Let's keep reading. I have the Knight of Cups here. Right next to the Four of Swords. And right above the Queen of Swords. The overall energy. This is about a love offer. This is a sincere love offer that comes in. So you're really having to think about this. You need truth. You need clarity. You might already know this person that's coming in. They might be coming in again. You know what I mean? So let's keep reading. I have the Justice card right next to the Knight of Cups. This is the card for Libra. So Libra might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But you've been getting yourself balanced. You're in this place here of healing. You're getting balanced. See, the scales are balanced. And the sword is just actually in this card hanging down. So you are in self-protection mode. Blindfolds on. It's like blind justice. It's like self-justice here that's going on. And so you're really protecting yourself from injury. Um, because you don't want to stay in this or go back to this healing process or stay in it. So you are recovering, but I still think that you have questions and you need answers. And there's something that, that maybe went unsaid that you want to say. So I have the Queen of Cups right below the Four of Swords and next to the Queen of Swords. This is water. Pisces, Scorpio, or Cancer might be strong in your chart or around this reading. But what you're doing is you're trying to peer in that cup. That cup is full of answers to love questions. So you still have questions. It's right next to the Queen of Swords. Um, that you really would like answers. Uh, clear, truthful answers. So you can't get whoever this is that had come in this Knight of Cups off your mind yet. And, and let, we're going to find out if you will ever get them off their mind. <laughs> Let's find out. Um, so next to the Queen of Swords is the moon. And the moon is under the Justice card. Well, this is the card for Pisces. Pisces might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But this is about being enlightened. It's like night turning to day or um, it's like light coming from darkness. This moon here is actually shining a guiding light through the night for you. It's a, it's a card of enlightenment. So it's really showing you a path forward. And that path forward seems to be, you know, protect yourself. 
um, stay balanced once you've healed and go ahead and seek the answers that you need here. And that might be part of your enlightenment for closure or for whatever reasons here that you need to seek uh, this enlightenment. Uh, and you are being enlightened uh, through the Justice card, through the Four of Swords. I have the King of Wands under the Queen of Cups. Another Mature Energy card. Um, this is Fire Aries Leo or Sagittarius. This is your reading Leo. So what you're doing is you're holding that staff of fresh starts and new beginnings. And um, you're ready to move forward. It's like you need answers because you don't like being stuck in this place of not knowing all the truth and clarity. And it's like maybe you can move on if you get all the truth and clarity here. And you do want to move forward. You want to stop. You want to get this person either off your mind or on it all the way. Okay? So I something happened, and I'm going to keep reading. I get more answers as I go along. Um, the Hierophant is right next to the King of Wands. And under the Queen of Swords. It feels like there might have been a commitment with this person that we're talking about that you can't get off your mind. Or you expected a commitment. The Hierophant is the card for Taurus, by the way. So Taurus might be strong in your chart or someone else's around this reading. But this is a very spiritual card about traditional values, traditional morals. It's about security and stability. It's very spiritual about marriage. It can be about marriage. So this could have been someone you were married to or thinking about marrying um, or just having a commitment with. Uh, but then we have, right next to the Hierophant, look at this, is the Three of Cups. And this is under the moon. Okay, so the Three of Cups. Oh, my goodness. You, you are going to have a reunion with this Knight of Cups. You're, this is when you're going to ask your questions. But, it, it, you know, the Three of Cups is a very happy, celebratory card. I think things are going to, I think they're coming back around. Or you are. And you're going to reconnect with someone here. And it's going to be a happy reconnection. Something is guiding the moon here. It's like you're being enlightened to follow a path towards these answers, which is really going to turn into something really nice. Really nice. Well, let me keep reading. Let's find out how nice, what the deal is here. Got two, but I will read them both. Okay. So the Three of Wands next to the Justice card. Yeah, you are waiting for them to return. You want them to return because you have you have questions. This just confirms that. So you're holding on to a staff of fresh starts and new beginnings, and you're looking out over the world, and you're waiting for your ship to come in, and you think they're your ship. The Three of Wands is next to the Hermit. You've been hermitizing, you know, just keeping to yourself, uh, healing, and... Actually seeking your path forward. You need to know how you're going to move forward in life. The hermit is holding the lantern. So there's going to be uh, some light shined on some, maybe some advice for you. Let's keep reading. So next, oh, the hermit is a card for Virgo too. I want to point out um, in case the Virgo is on your mind. So Virgo um, could be strong in someone's chart here. So next to the hermit is the five of swords. This is someone you've let go. This is someone who's faded off into the distance. Either you let them go or they went. And it had something to do with some truth and clarity that came out. Because uh, the Five of Swords, it's like picking up those swords. And it's like the more you know, um, you kind of let them slip away. Hmm. Maybe you're having regrets about that, about letting it things fall apart. I have the Page of Cups under the Three of Wands and next to the Moon. So the Page of Cups is a young energy. The Page of Cups has a couple of, as you see there, and there is a fish poking its head out right there. I don't know if you can see that on film here. But um, so this can be a card for Pisces and it's right next to the Moon, which is the card for Pisces. So Pisces really could be strong in someone's chart. But I feel like you have this cup of love, but you pulled it back and you're holding it close to yourself. And it's, it has something to do with truth and clarity. 
something happened here where you were uncomfortable in handing that cup out anymore. I have the Emperor next to the Page of Cups and under the Hermit. So the Emperor is the card for Aries. Aries might be strong in your chart or in someone else's around this reading. But you know what? With this card here and under the Hermit, you know what you want. And the Hermit is saying that too. They're saying, you know what you want. Stay true to yourself. Be stubborn. Hold out. Um, you're very well liked and respected by others, and you might be a leader in your profession. But um, you're, you're, you. They're saying just be true to yourself and stay that way, because they're returning. So stay true to yourself. Don't compromise yourself. Okay. That's what the Hermit's saying. If you want to find your ship, your real happiness. But I think that this Knight of Cups is coming in. I think they've came in before and they're coming back. I have the Strength card right next to the Emperor and under the Five of Swords. And this is your card, Leo, in the Tarot deck. But the energy is about knowing what you have to do and finding the strength and the courage to do it. Now this falls right between the Five of Swords and the Emperor. So this is telling me it took a lot of strength to let them slip away, to let them go. And it's going to take a lot of strength to be true to yourself when they come back. <laughs> so watch out for that, you know. Be careful. Stay true to yourself. I have the Page of Swords under the Page of Cups and next to the Three of Cups. Keep your sword out. You don't have to swing it. Just keep it out. Just be aware. And um, make sure you ask these questions. Don't forget that you're... You know, also the Queen of Swords. Don't don't forget that you have you need answers, okay? And there is some truth. I think there's something that you need to say, and make sure that you say it when they come back. And then let things you know unfold naturally. The Ace this Ace of Swords is next to the Page of Swords, so these swords are really important in this reading. Truth and clarity. Um, it's so much needed. I, I feel like. I feel like there's gaps in the knowledge here. Um, so you need to fill in the gaps. You've got to have a conversation when they return. That's the most important thing. And the Two of Swords is next to the Ace of Swords and under the Strength card. I mean, there's some things that you were avoiding saying. You're, there were things you're avoiding asking of this person. Because you had the blindfold on, your heart is guarded... Your swords are up in self-protection, but there's the moon. And that did not stop the moon from coming out here and enlightening you anyway. But I don't think you got a full enlightenment. I think you need more answers. I think part of the question here is, and one of the questions is, are they in this relationship? Do they want to be in like a committed relationship? Or do they want to just live as a fool? And be single and live in the moment and throw caution to the wind and go wherever they want, see whoever they want. You know, are they just want to be a single, uh, you know, like uh, unattached person or do they want to be attached? This is something that you really need to know when they return. And that's going to take strength and courage from you because I feel like normally you don't approach these things head on. But I feel like when they come back, you need to, to have your answers and to know which way to move, whether to move forward with this person or not. Um, but with the Three of Cups, that's, you know, not the Three of Pentacles, it's the Three of Cups. So I feel like you're going to get some answers. There is love. There is love between you two. It's going to be a good reconnection. And I know there's love, but do get your answers. Okay. I'm going to pull out an angel card now. And we're going to see what your guardian angels and spirit guides have to say about this reading. It's card 14. And it's called a win-win solution. So let's read this. There's strength in diversity. By blending the ideas of other people with your own, you can often come up with a solution that's magnificent. Start by focusing on the aspects that everyone agrees upon. 
and then open your mind to compromise and working together. Stay balanced and seek out a moderate approach. So you do have the Justice card. Stay balanced, okay? When they come back in, while you have these, this conversation, and you find out, you know, what just what it is uh, that they want from you, just what it is they want from life in particular. So 